When you take a workshop, you really want to improve your painting and your confidence. We're going to talk about design. Then we're going to talk about color. We're going to be talking about value and edges. We will see how they're applied in a painting so that you will know exactly how to apply it to your painting. Workshops are fun and painting should be fun. Okay, in this workshop we all have a job to do. Your job is to be here on time, uh, take notes, be really attentive and here to learn. My job is to teach, but that is not my most important job. My most important job is to provide you with a very safe, non-judgmental environment so that you understand that mistakes are welcomed in this workshop. Remember that all of our creative journeys start with an introspection into ourselves. What we're trying to do is to find out not only what's out there, but what's in here. Color. Woohoo! Color. This is, I mean, some of us paint because of color. I love color. This is one of the reasons I paint. I love it. And in my opinion, color is to seeing what flavor is to eating. It's that sensual. It's that good. I start out with transparent colors and I layer transparent colors a lot. And then I will come in with either semi or opaque colors. There are four noble truths for an artist. They are, number one, artists paint. That's what we do. Writers write, artists paint. Painting is a process. And remember what I said earlier, that failure is an event. It is not personal. You paint even when you're not in the mood because guess what? That creative muscle needs to be strengthened every day. And the last thing is, if painting is your practice, the only way to fail is not to paint. The light bulb went off. <laughs> the, light, the light bulb went off so much that this light went off. This is going to be so much fun. The two things that come, that rise to the top uh, when I think about Gwen and her workshops, this is my second, is freedom and process. Um, a lot of times for me, I don't feel freedom in my work in my studio, but here, because of the fact that she doesn't really um, hold your hand, babysit you, she just gives strong, clear instructions on where to go, and then she gives you the freedom to, uh, to create, uh, which evolves into that process. And that process is um, sometimes difficult, sometimes frustrating, but uh, you learn such amazing things. Gwen is always available, but the process is where you find that mysterious color, that mysterious uh, technique um, that makes your viewer say, oh wow, I wonder how she did that. This is my third workshop with Gwen Fox, and I keep coming back for a couple of reasons. One is that I love Gwen's work. It's, I've taken a lot of classes, but I keep gravitating to Gwen because her work moves me. The second is that she is a really good teacher. I've found that Gwen challenges us. I'm never comfortable with my own work in the workshop, but it, it sort of lasts me until the next year so I can continue working, sort of striving for where she was pointing us. And Gwen is very accessible. As an artist herself and as a teacher, she still has a kind of gentle but very clear direction for each of us. Her critiques are excellent. So I would recommend Gwen's workshops to anyone who's serious about their painting. <laughs>